Hello, welcome back to HWLRadio.com. You're here with your main man, Hollywood. And today, man, we got the 49ers just actually just throwing the game away. I actually want to cut some stuff, but I'm trying to clean it up for my own self because the numbers is going up. I'm trying to clean this up as clean as possible so nobody touched the algorithm. But that was the first minute, a couple of seconds or whatever. They want to take time out because I definitely got to cuss on this show. So I'm just going to give them a little more time. We're going to wait it out together. All in together now. But these motherfuckers lost me <laughs> some motherfucking exercise. I ain't want to exercise last night. But shit, I see I definitely need to start exercising. After last night, nigga, my shoulders is out. My arms hurt. Uh, I know he probably watching this show like, yeah, motherfucker. The 49ers celebrate they did the biggest mistake like my niggas my nigga Ramsey said man he said they got the lead and everything right now but I don't know why they just did that I was like what you talking about nigga you uh, you just know know why I want my motherfucking 20 push-ups nigga as soon as this damn thing's over and that's right I said 20 that's how fucked up that's why I gotta get in the gym for real I don't know who ass I'm going to kick not doing 20 push-ups. So I'm definitely going to the gym. But this nigga said, man, I don't know why they did that. And at first, you know, I was trying to ignore the curse, hoping. But at the same time, I was being realistic with myself like he is right. Because he was like, Tom Brady never did that. And I was like, but as you can see right now on the field after they did that, the new Tom Brady is doing exactly what Tom Brady would do in a time like this. Making big plays, moving the ball down the field, and not caring about nothing. I don't care about the score or none of that. We could put up 30 real fast like they did. But this is why I tell people, man, you need more than one damn game plan. You always need more than one game plan going into anything because... They had two game plans, but it was only one for each. It was only one for offense, and it was one for defense. They could speak different, but shit, you only had two things working. So that means you even need a third, fourth backup plan. Because y'all yeah, yeah, did try to throw the ball, but this nigga can't throw worth shit. I don't even know how you in the Super Bowl, and you can't throw worth shit, man. I mean, you didn't do one beautiful pass. I can't, no, I ain't gonna lie. He did a couple beautiful passes in the beginning. But this is every team's mistake when they play in Kansas City. Kansas City is a second-half team that just is a scoring beast. Like, they warm up in the first half. If they beat you in the first half, you might as well just pack it up because they warmed up in the second half. And every other team, they tend to be hot in the beginning and all of them go mild in the second half. That's a disaster for them. You need at least 40 points. And you can't just go scoreless. So you need 40 points by halftime, and they need zero for you to even consider yourself having a chance to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. Because as you can see, they are actually the best comeback team I've ever seen in my life. In my life, man. That's basketball. That's football that's baseball even though i don't watch as much baseball so y'all probably know a time better in baseball but them other sports i don't i don't see it i just don't see it man this every game man every game on the way here they had everybody on the edge of their seats for the first half it's like nigga we gonna give you a head start to make we so good we gonna give you a head start to make this fair and that's what I'm thinking these niggas is doing to people. Like, man, we're going to make it interesting for the fans. Because I seen Patrick Mahomes. If y'all recorded the game, you can go back. And there was a, it was something happened. Yeah, he tried to throw a bomb to somebody, overthrew it. They put the camera on Mahomes. He was like, yeah, they, they did some shit and stopped me or picked. No, they, they intercepted his ball. He said, but this motherfucker can't throw. <laughs> 
So, and this is another thing that I'm going to break down for y'all that happened. If you notice, the Kansas City Chiefs was the team that everybody was like running, running on them, running on them, running on them. At first, they couldn't stop the 49ers run. And like I told my nigga, if they figure out a way to stop this run, this motherfucker ain't even through for over 300 yards. Remember what Debo said, he ain't through for over 300 yards in the whole playoffs. And he didn't have more than one game. <laughs> so, I'm not putting... And then in the last the last plays, this nigga threw on the second and third when he should have been running it. Because that was their bread and butter from the whole get-go. So, I was like, man, this dude right here, I don't want him in charge no more making the decisions. I see why the Patriots got rid of him. Because... You've been in the league this long and you still making rookie mistakes. Matter of fact, a fucking rookie last year just came in and scooched your ass. <laughs> but, you know, just keep it real. Just keep it real with y'all, breaking it down, man. And, you know, take it how you want. 49er fans, I was riding with y'all motherfucking team. But I will, I will not ride with that quarterback ever a fucking again in my life. Ever again, not no money, not no exercise, not not no fun, nothing. It's just not nothing to bet on, nigga. I'll let you down. But shout outs to my homes. This is the hey, like you get schooled by the greatest last year, and then you come back and win it this year. Like this dude got a, a beautiful a beautiful future and career ahead of him. This is only his second year in the league, so you do the math. And he's really like the greatest quarterback out there today. Right now, he has that claim. He can state that. I am the best quarterback right now. Not of all times, but motherfucker 2020. That 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 thing going trophy say Mahomes on it. My homeboy. And that's going to be the show, y'all. I'm about. Hit that subscribe, that like, and that share button.